Hi, I'm James and thanks for tuning in to eBuyer. In this video, I'll be taking a look at this Asus Tough Gaming laptop with an RTX 3050 and a 144 hertz display that boasts one of the most impressive price points I've ever seen. Seriously, this thing is incredible value. In this video, I'll be unboxing it, testing it out and telling you why, covering off the features, the connectivity and all that good stuff. Make sure to get subscribed to the channel if you aren't already, but let's do this. Unboxing the notebook and you'll find that first things first, we've got the notebook itself. This is our 15 inch design that we'll come back to a bit later. For now, let's see what else we get in the box. You get your warranty and your service documentation on the right hand side of the box. You will then also find one half of your power lead. This is sort of your three pin connector. And I'm guessing on the other side of the box, there's a quite a high likelihood that this is gonna be the remaining part of the power brick. It is indeed. So that's your power transformer that takes a three pin connector and goes through to your laptop socket itself. Popping the box to one side, let's first take a look at the notebook's IO and overall design. First impressions for me are really good. You get this kind of brushed metal finish. It is plastic on the top here, but it does feel nevertheless pretty good for a budget design. You've got this cool honeycomb mesh on the bottom as well. Great for airflow with rubber feet, which should help with a bit of clearance off a table for better ventilation. It also looks to me like the laptop may be serviceable or upgradable, so you could potentially pop in uh, more RAM if you like. So that's something to bear in mind for the future. And opening up the lid itself, this thing looks, for the price, I'm genuinely in a state of shock right now. Not only do you have a, a full-size keyboard layout with a dedicated number pad, this looks to be RGB or at least illuminated. Great to see. You've got your large 15 inch display that's 144 hertz, making it awesome for high frame rate titles and first person shooters like Call of Duty's Vanguard, Apex Legends, CSGO and Valorant. You've got separate left and right click mouse buttons. This is handy for gaming, although I would recommend using a dedicated gaming mouse and adaptive sync on the monitor to help reduce or completely eliminate screen tearing. Under the hood of the notebook, the RTX 3050 provides plenty of power in such a small form factor. The laptop's impressive design doesn't stop there though. The IO also feels pretty strong with a USB 3 type A port and a Kensington lock on the right hand side, alongside a bit of ventilation, with the bulk of the IO featuring on the left. Power in, a dedicated ethernet connector, great for low latency gaming and LAN parties, a full size HDMI for plugging up to an external monitor or TV, a further two USB type A ports, a USB type C and a headphone mic combo jack. I'm really impressed actually by my first impressions of this device, but the real way uh, to test out whether it's worth considering is in the gaming numbers. So I'm off to charge the notebook up, install some of my favorite titles and some of your guys' favorite games too, and we'll be right back with you. The first game we're going to try out is Splitgate. Now this right here is one of the big rising stars of 2022 and 2021. As far as games go, the lovely kill on the board straight away there and someone got me back. Uh, you can see here though from the frame rate counter in the top left, we're running around about 120 frames per second at 1080p. Actually not a bad result really from our RTX 3050. Valorant is one of the games we'll look at in a moment and I think there we'll get more mileage in terms of high refresh rate and getting closer to the refresh rate of the display which is of course 144 hertz. Even still though 120 is by no means far off and makes for a really enjoyable gaming experience. There we go there's another one on the board that was nice and simple I think I'm getting shot from somewhere though and I'm not sure where behind me somewhere oh goodness me Oh, no, 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 short range, short range, short range. Yes, two in a row. Lovely stuff. The shotgun is doing absolute bits for us right now uh, in Split Gate. And we can just pop a couple of portals around. That's the beauty of this game. And uh, spawn around the map as we see fit. I see another one just going up here. I'm going to, oh, nearly. I was going to go and try and meet him and cut him off. But even still, sitting around the 120 FPS mark. Not bad. And the game looks great. What am I on my team with? What are you doing there? Yes, lovely stuff. There we go absolutely in the bag i think there's going to be a few people around here though oh here we go 
There is, there is. Yes, go on. Oh, and I got done back. We got two to one. That's enough for me in that round. If everybody did that, we'd be off to the races. But in Valorant, some great frame rates, really helping to leverage the 144 hertz panel. Visually as well, the game looks great. As far as frame rate goes as well at that point, sitting around 100 frames per second, which is really not too bad as we enter into one of the final buy phases of the match. Yes, lovely stuff. There we go. Oh, I got killed straight away, but that's what we were waiting for. A nice little kill to round off our Valorant gameplay where we're currently sitting around about 100 frames per second. Lovely stuff. Finally then, the last title we're going to test out is CSGO. This is a very esports oriented title and something which will really work and suit well for this Asus Tough Notebook. The frame rate counter is in the top left corner, but I'll read it out as it's a touch on the small side in CSGO. We sit in here around 150 frames per second, give or take. So that's great for our 144 hertz monitor. The game looks pretty smooth, pretty nice, and a very enjoyable experience. Colors also pretty good on this display as well, which is always something uh, we like to see. Smooth, no real lag or stuttering or screen tearing, which is obviously very, very important for a gaming notebook like this one. The 144 hertz display is a major, major selling point of this design. It's something you just simply won't find on other laptops at this price point and really helps it stand out in what is undoubtedly a really crowded market. There we go, a nice couple of kills in the end there on the board for CSGO while we still sit around 150 frames a second. And on that note, that wraps it up not only for CSGO, but our first look, unboxing, overview and review, I guess, of this Asus Tough Gaming Notebook. If you'd like to learn more about it, check out the links in the description below to ebuyer.com. Get subscribed to the channel to see more from me and the whole eBuyer team. Thanks for tuning in though, and as always, we'll see you soon.